going guys Linux today back with another top five today's top five is top five reasons to run arch or an arch based Linux distribution so I'm a big fan of these arch Linux distributions I'm currently on Manjaro KDE it's what I use for my main production and then when I'm not in production like YouTube recording stuff I'm on Manjaro with the i3 desktop it's the same KDE system, I just installed i3 and configured it. So we will start with top five reasons number one, and that is it's very up to date. Manjaro being built off of Arch, or like any Arch Linux, it's built off of Arch, of course. So it's a rolling release. So everything's instantly updated, top, like the most current. I'm pretty sure I have a few updates on this Manjaro system. If you didn't know already, Manjaro is built off of Arch Linux. So let's do a quick update. I just installed this system. And I'm going to replace those. And yep, we have a lot of packages right here. Right here that needed to be updated. Rolling release. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same in this next virtual machine I'm going to pull through. Here is an Antergos Linux uh, virtual machine. It is the same one that I did the install and review of. So let's go to a terminal and let's check the updates on this one. I'm expecting quite a few as well. Let's have a very secure password again. This one's taking a little while. Probably because there's probably quite a few that need to be updated. I can't remember on the install and review when I, uh, the distro review of this, if I did update it or not. Yes, if you see here, there, there is quite a few. That is a lot of packages that need to be updated. So yeah, it's always up to date. It's always have the most recent packages being the rolling release so that was pro not pro uh, that was top five number one top five number two it is very customizable arch this is more of an arch linux kind of thing if you install the arch linux iso it i'm in my opinion it's one of the most customizable operating systems because not even the G, uh, not even the installer is GUI, so you get to pick literally everything you want to do with it. Pick what desktop environment comes for installed. You make it your own system. I can't really show you that with um, this Answer Ghost machine here or my Manjaro um, thing, but all those are customizable as well. So that was Pro, not Pro. I keep saying Pro. That was top five number two. Top five number three is there's tons of packages available. So let's jump into the terminal on this Antergos machine. And there's this nifty package if you type in um, sudo pacman s trizen. It is a, well, it's not currently found for some reason. All right, pack hours, kind of the same thing. Um, but this lets you download packages straight from the AUR. So not only do you get packages from uh, from the Arch repositories or Antergos or Manjaro, whatever, which one you use. I know there's a ton more. I'm just naming these three because they're really big, really popular distributions. But you have all those packages and you have all of the packages from the arch user repository you just do um, I don't know if you run it with sudo but I'll do it anyway sudo pack hour uh, I don't know a package right off the top of my head in pack hour or the arch user repository but that's how you would do it 
we can do the same on Manjaro, so let's jump over there really quick. All right, we are at the Manjaro. The screen kind of freaked out there, but we are at the Manjaro one. This one's still updating, so I'm going to cancel out of that. Clear the screen here. And then... Pseudo Pac-Man HS. Yeah, Trizen is in this one. This is a more up-to-date version of Pack Hour. So yeah, this is the same kind of thing. This is the one that you don't run as a uh, super user or pseudo. And there you go. So you'll just do Trizen um, dash S and a package from the pa um, the Arch users. You could also install stuff from the Arch repositories if that's what you want directly from Trizen. So that was top five number three. Top five number four. It is great to learn. This is more of a art like the regular Arch Linux, but when you're installing it and you have to make the partitions right from the G uh the CLI command line interface and format it and all that, install it fr right from the uh, CLI. It's great to learn and it also teaches you if you screw something up how to fix it because they're not these are not the most stable Linux distributions out there being a rolling release but it's really good to learn how to fix the things if you break it so if you update it and the thing doesn't work you'll know how to roll it back and all that like kernels I had a problem like that when I installed a kernel and I got a warning here. AUR access detected. Yeah. There can be some weird things in uh, the AUR. So you'll want to watch out for that. I don't know why Firefox popped up. Oh. They're just telling us more about the AUR. It can be kind of risky to be in there. But... A lot of good packages on there as well. So that was top five number four. And then our final top five is it's a lightweight OS. This is more, again, Arch. Arch in itself is really lightweight. It doesn't even come with a GUI as standard. You have to install that on your own after you install the base system. So after you do the pack strap, uh, base, and then all that. After you do all that, you install your GUI. And it can be really lightweight depending on the one you choose. Like you throw i3 on there. It's going to be a really light distribution. You could take even Manjaro and throw i3 on there and it's really lightweight. So that was a quick top five of uh, top five reasons to run Arch or an Arch-based Linux distro. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.